TV. Your will, your choice. Hello everyone, it's Ayed and it's a beautiful day. Just with me always talking about different challenges, how we can deal with situations which are in the communities. I hope this finds you well wherever you are. We know things are not going on very well, but we have to persevere with the situation and have that time that we are moving on and looking onto. But how do we do with it? Always come and stay tuned that every Monday at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. I'll be always here to take you through the things and we talk about different things and how different people do it where you are not able to reach and finding you different guests wherever they are and then they come here, show us and tell us how they deal with their things. Today with me in a program of Lift Me Up with me, Laura. Have you tried everything and has failed? Are you trying to hold on something and has failed? We shall be talking about patience and with me I have a beautiful lady who has endeavored, who has moved through situations when they are failing and she has always tried to keep on moving up and down. Here with me, let me allow her to talk about herself. Hey sweetheart, just tell them who you are, where you came from, what you do for. And just in a brief note, just tell them who you are. Wow, well, thank you Miss Rola. I'm so excited. Hello everyone. I am called Sarah Profiting. And I am so happy that to be here, that today we are sharing together, we are learning together, we are growing together. Well, I'm so happy that you honored my invitation. Thank you so much. May the God, good God bless <laughs> you always. Amen. I just know that these people, they are so good and sweet as they normally keep learning. Anyway, today we are going to talk about patience. But before I hit a note, mm. I would like to say that please tell a friend to always be tuning in on Monday. Mm. And don't forget to send in your comments. Just hit the inboxes on WhatsApp. Yeah. You shall be reading the numbers in the next few minutes ahead as we proceed. And today, uh, Miss Sarah, we are going to be talking about uh, patience. Mm. So many people, when we go to visit different counselors, we visit our parents, we visit friends, telling them about situations, how they are failing. We try to talk about different things. But whatever they normally tell us is patience. Like, be patient. But what is patient itself? Like, what is patience? Is somebody telling me, be patient. Like, what is patience? Wow, thank you so much for this chance. What I can talk, uh, the, the way I can defend patience is that to hold on or wait a little bit longer, like wait, give it some time mm. that maybe you want something or something is not yet right, but you're like, patience is when you give it time and you're like, okay, I believe things are going to work out. Okay. Yes, yes, you give it time, giving it time. So, Miss Sarah, you're saying that uh, patience is holding on and waiting a little bit longer. Yes, dear. But you know, sometimes we have desperate times mm. and you feel that, yeah, the more you wait, the more you see that sometimes because it has failed now, yes. you really see that even tomorrow it's going to fail. Yeah. Mm. Does that mean that that is... Uh, we have to how long should patience take now remember patience moves together with believing and hoping okay yes mm. believing it's having faith that yes things are not working out right now but when i give it a time just like i've said i have faith i hope that they are going to work out because the truth is no one has a clear answer for you Everyone is just going to tell you that. Give it time, give it time. Okay, how mm. long should someone wait upon something? Now, to me, to encourage someone out there watching yeah. us to wait, mm. I love it when you're waiting, are you putting good in that thing you're waiting for? Okay. Yes, for example, I want to get married. Mm. No, I'm not saying that I want no, now, okay, but okay. <laughs> I'm just ringing it. I get it. For example, if I've reached that age that I want to get married, but yeah. you know, I'm not seeing anyone. Mm. I will still, ha I will have to have hope mm -hmm. and then having belief as I give it time that it is going to work out, the right person will come in the right time. Yes, when I'm involving God in this thing, 
So you're saying patience is holding and waiting, having hope. Exactly. Who is putting in beliefs and mm -hmm. faith. Exactly. Yeah, there is this person who has got no faith. Mm -hmm. She has no belief. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know that God really exists mm -hmm. and God does not work. Mm -hmm. how, how and where or where are you starting from to convince this person mm -hmm. that God has ever worked? Now, I'll convince this person because... The breath that person has is not hers. Okay. The owner of the breath can take it in time. Mm. But if God has, has given you that breath, there is still hope for you. You know, our Bible tells us that there is a hope for the, the, the tree that has been cut to grow up again. That means that situation has put you down, but with time, if you wait a little bit longer, things are going to work out and you're going to arise again. Okay, yes. so that means this person should have that in mind. Exactly. Okay, my dear viewer, she's my beautiful guest. Thank I really you. love her talk and all the time she's, you know, she has of so many things we've tried being through, but I really love that talk. Wow. And another question that I can say is that, uh, mm. yes, somebody mm. has to have that faith and yes. belief that the breath that we have exactly. is not our own. Exactly. We should believe that there is somebody who gives us that breath. There is that God that, 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 you know, we have a God who takes care of us even. Live around, I may take care of you and I brag around. Okay. But in that, in that pain, in that time when you're seeing things are not working out, he's there in secret behind you. He's in secret. But now, how do I get convinced, God, that really I want something desperately? Like now, the, the truth is, even though you're desperately wanting this thing and it is not its time, my sweetheart, you're not going to get it. Okay. Even though you share it to people, they're going to just backbite you and they laugh at you. So that means that if it is not yet time for something, it, it will never happen. It won't. Okay. If you force it out, like for example, uh, uh, you've reminded me of something. Let me speak of an orange. Yeah. An orange is sweet when it's ripe. Okay. If you bring it out to eat it when it's not ready, it is going to be sour. I get that. So point. if you try out something in in when it's not yet that right time for it, it's going to be sour for you. Okay. Yes. So. So many people have failed to catch on to patience. Mm. So many people, they do not know how long we should wait. Mm. But my guest is saying that uh, patience is not all about time. Yeah. It's all about waiting with faith and mm. belief. Mm. Yeah, some, most of you, we do not know how to hold on to faith. Mm. We do not know how to say it, to talk God. Mm. But now, my dear guest, uh, mm. if we talk about patience mm. and we are in this situation so desperate for something, we are mm. praying to God, mm. things are not working out. Mm. How should someone pray so that God gets to understand and listen to our prayers? Wow. Um, now, what I can tell someone who has a question like that one and you're watching this sweet program is that maybe you've waited and you see things are not working out. At that moment when you see that you want to give up, mm. hmm, that is the season when your breakthrough is on the, uh, the corner. Okay. Do you know that? I didn't know about that, mm -hmm. but I think even my viewers weren't getting to know it. I mm. think we are going to learn it from you. Mm. So that means that when the things toughen a little bit tougher, then hold the things on. get too tough. Yes. That's when I have to you hold You see, tighter. gold Gold is very expensive. When you put on gold, you feel like the earth is yours, but it goes through fire. Now that fire, it's a process for you to... You know, to, to be minded, to be made the right person you're supposed to become. Okay, so that means when I hold on to patience, I go through this pain, I'm going to become that precious gold. Exactly. Oh, okay. That precious gold. And you know what? When you come out as gold, oh my God, you will not even remember about the other fire that you went through. My viewer, you see, like, she has given my girl a nice example. Who mm. doesn't feel like being a, a gold, a precious stone? Everyone is like... This one is worth, I don't know how you much know, it is worth. You know, all nations are fighting for that. And, uh, yeah, I see everyone battling. I would like to take off this off. Mm -hmm. I think everyone feels like being that. And uh, what she has said, what I have learned from her is that um, if you hold on to something, mm. you're going to become out a little bit refined, exactly. beautiful, younger, mm. and shining. Mm. So why don't we make it up to patience? Yes. So, Sarah, I would like to ask something. Mm. Some just a little bit tactic of how I should make it up to patience. Because oh, wow. I have a daughter or I have a friend, mm -hmm. let me call her a sweetheart of mine. Mm -hmm. I had to talk to her, she called me and she was like, dear, you know what? 
I'm trying to wait and I'm praying to God, but God is not answering. Mm. I'm trying this, I'm failing. Mm. Everything I try is not coming out. Mm. How is somebody, what does it take? The way for you, you've been through lots of things mm. and you're always content and you're always happy even mm. when things are failing. Yeah. How do you advise that person that... Uh, during this time you have to be that patient you know some yes. desperate times really suck yeah and you'll be like it's really hard for me to hold yes. but mm. how can you tell someone that you have to do this yes thank you so much now what i can tell someone about that is that issues will still arise you know desperate moments will still come but because of that much desire that you have you know you want it you want it you want it uh, uh, what I have to tell someone out there, give it time and you know what, you know this thing when you're tired and you're like, God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Because wow. even though you, you pressurize yourself, you be dispressed, dis, uh, dis, uh, stressed or you, you, you're so desperate and you go in for this thing, you're going to just, you know, lose it. Yeah. But amid this, that pain, accept, embrace that situation and you're like, Lord, you know what? this is it i surrender it to you and just do your will and try to relax okay. reduce on that much desire stop overthinking of it yes don't overthink for example i want tuition but i don't have it lay it before god try your best if you're working try your best and if it fails leave it like that don't overstress yourself you're going to, to get sick Okay, she's yes. saying if you strain yourself, mm. you overlook, you get sick. You know, think like I love that, but uh, mm. and there's something that I would like to say that mm. there is this babe who mm. was like, uh, you know, I have my boyfriend, mm. but I try to give him money mm. to show that I really love him. Mm. I've tried so much hard that I need him. Mm. I've been there anytime he feels like mm. being there. Mm. But what I get is nothing in vain. Mm. I get nothing totally. Everything is in vain and it's not always there available for me. Mm. And whenever I try to say that I want to go and I quit that situation, mm. I get different dreams, I get different visions that... Uh, He's your husband. No. Does it mean that there will be time for this man is going to change for me? Wow, wow, wow. That is very important. But, in the, you know, not every situation that it, requ it requires patience. Okay. You know, concern, there are some time where the Bible tells us that flee. Okay. You don't need even to wait. Okay. You see someone is drunk and he wants to rape you and you're like, okay, let me wait. Let me wait. Maybe he will be in his mood. Now, for example, with this person and in you, you feel you love him, but he's not bringing it out fast. There are some periods when you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to wait. Okay. Because, for example, we've seen people dying in marriages because, um, but they, you know, um, I've been waiting, knowing Ngu that my, um, um, kurabana, oh my gosh. then the guy kills him. Okay. There are some moments, yes. The, the gospel doesn't allow us to go for divorce, but if it will save my life, I'm, going, I'm not going to be patient with it. I'll quit. Okay, so that means there are situations where there are we have to wait. situation. For example, let me give you an example. We've been in relationships and we've been disappointed, like that friend of yours. This guy, you're not the one supposed to give this man money. Mm. Why would I be pa He's a man. And... In fact, wait, if we were married and uh, I'm standing in for him, there I can be patient. At mm. a you know, you're married, the covenant speaks for you. Okay. But we are dating, and then it's me giving you money, and then I be patient, you're mistreating my feelings. Sweetheart, I'll quit. Okay, that means patience works for some situation. Works for some situation, not everywhere. And somewhere it doesn't work. Yes, we are married, we are married, the covenant speaks for us, and then you're not carrying out your marital thingy, you know, there. If it means going to the knees, I'll go. Okay, that means somebody has to be patient, and patience will only come when you are praying, and praying... Not only when you're praying. Mm. At times you can... You can even be patient when you're, you're not praying. The prayer has to be part of your life. <laughs> but, um, for example, well, let me say, okay. you know, mm. you know? Mm. There, whether you're praying or you're not praying, it, but of course, prayer has to be part of you. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Sarah, for okay. the visit. We are really humbled. She's mm. saying some things have to be waited upon. Mm. We have told her to some things sometimes, yes. but not everything mm. is worth it. Mm. So you give yourself a chance to wait on what is supposed to be waited for. Exactly. Yes. Yours. How do you find it? How do you get it? Mm. You have to be with that belief and mm. you wait upon something that you see it's going to change exactly uh my dear viewers thank you very much uh miss her before i conclude i would like you just say last word in some good few seconds wow thank you so much about the at love and everyone you've been watching us what i can tell you that be patient and I don't praying, believing, and hoping. Don't share your issues with everyone. Not everyone is going to help you. Their solution may even make you go astray. But believe, wait on the Lord, ask the Lord, pray, and believe with hoping okay hope pray believe and everything yeah sometimes you have to pray ask god to give you the fortitude yes. so as you wait and mm. you stand unto his yeah. promises yeah. yes you have to look at something and you hope for something which is worth exactly. it not that everything is hoped for mm. hey viewers i've been you've loved the show every day every monday 7 30 mm. to 9 to 8 30 we shall be always here giving you different situations bringing in different guests just like i've had one today talking about different situations how different people face some scenarios mm. and how they've been worked upon turned out and how things have worked for them so as to get you lifted up in your comfort zones in your situations wherever you are yes i believe everyone deserves a better life deserves a smile wholeheartedly deserves a soul which is so happy genuinely moving in a community with a really nice smile which is coming from inside stay tuned tell a friend to subscribe stay blessed i love you so much please subscribe comment and drop in your tell a friend to tell a friend to like the page and follow the channel i love you stay blessed TV, your will, your choice.